everything huh, we should be good hi welcome to another edition another episode of season with love this is episode two all right so i'm glad you could be here i'm glad you could be here let's get started the first thing i'm going to do i'm making spaghetti okay so i'm going to talk through it as i'm doing it and uh, the first thing you know I like to do is saute. I like to saute my onions, my green peppers, um, my yellow peppers, my orange peppers, my red peppers, and my parsley. I'm going to get that out of the way because I'm making a small batch of vegetarian um, pasta on the side with the sauce. And then I am making meaty, meaty um, spaghetti sauce. So I'll have two and I'm making pasta, of course. So uh, let's get started. Okay. First thing, saute. So, as usual, what I'm going to start off with is, let me put my hair in the back. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to start off with getting my pan hot and ready to go. I'm gonna add in my um, olive oil and a little bit of butter to start sauteing my vegetables, which is going to be great. Okay, let me see. Okay. Let's go get the vegetables. The butter's been sitting out for a little bit. Now, I want to tell you that usually, um, Without the, before the pandemic and when I had my own garden, um, I would cook all of this. I never used canned goods. I never, maybe frozen vegetables or something like that, but I had a garden full of stuff. Peppers and even even corn. I grew corn and, and cucumbers and collard greens and cabbage and all of my seasoning and my different basil and just all of that. It was, it was really wonderful. So. I believe in um, healthy cooking, um, so I'm going to try to keep it as healthy as possible. But you know, a meal every now and then, you know, with a little bit of fat, and it's real good. So we're going to do that, okay? So let me put a little bit of olive oil in here. As a matter of fact, let me get some olive oil in my pasta that already seems to be boiling a bit. This is a gas stove, which you know I love. Put that in there. This is looking. Looking good. Yeah, it's getting a little brown. So you want to go ahead and start stirring that up. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and put my peppers in. And these are 700 boys. If you've had brothers or partners, or fathers, whatever. Boys can eat a lot of food. So I want to make it really hearty for them. And what I'm doing, you know, what I'm thinking about is not just seasoning this for the boys and the family, you know, with love, but also for the families in Miami, for the families who have gone through so much with the pandemic. You know, I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like things are always better if over a good meal. Something wonderful to eat. You know, sometimes people don't even have to talk. They can just enjoy the meal, which I think is wonderful. And so that's what I'm thinking about as I'm cooking. And as I said, if you have boys in your life at all, nothing sexist about that or anything, but they can eat. Going boys can eat. <laughs> I like to go by feeling, remember? So I'm just gonna put a little bit of garlic, minced garlic. I gotta go for the feel of it. You know I love garlic. Usually I chop up, chop up my own garlic, but um, having minced garlic is really good and already done. Of course I'm gonna add in my garlic powder. I'm going to add in some basil. 
yummy. This is coming out a little slow for me. So I'm going to take the top off and add some basil. Yummy. This is one of my seasoning because my meat seasoning is going to be a little different. This is, I'm thinking about the vegetarian. I don't have to always eat meat. You know, it's okay. Like Phil, she was a pescatarian. Here's some uh, onion, some onion powder. At this time, I have not added any salt. And other than a little pinch of the salt in the water for the pasta, I'm not gonna add any more salt in this unless it's already in. Ooh, this is rosemary. I'm adding rosemary to this, wonderful. Um, so, um, now there's salt within salt, like meat and things along those lines. So that's gonna be there. But I'm not going to add any more added salt. I'm going to um, use a little bit of, I like low sodium soy sauce and Worcestershire my meat, but for spaghetti, I'm just going to add a little bit of soy sauce to it. Um, low sodium soy sauce. I have this on high, this high temperature so that I can really get a good sauteed, sauteed taste and feel to this. Oh, doesn't that look beautiful? Doesn't that look beautiful? I've added in my garlic powder. I've added in my fresh minced garlic. I've added in my basil. I've added in my onion powder. I've added in my rosemary. And this family loves pepper. So, but not too much, because one of the babies um, doesn't like it too spicy. They're, they don't digest that well. So I'm gonna add in a little bit of pepper here, just to sprinkle it over the top. It's almost like painting. When I cook, it's almost like I'm painting. And then I'm gonna add in what we have here, which is, has a number of different things, Italian seasoning, which if you want real good Italian food, have an Italian cooking for you. <laughs> Authenticity. And I'm going to do my best. I'm going to add it in here. You know, I even have a drone that I said I was going <laughs> to take some shots of the kitchen. I don't know. It's just, there's like, the last one I did had like five cameras, so I had to edit like crazy. Um, and then I have my oregano. Oregano. Oh, let me add some more. Now, oregano, I'm going to add in a lot, especially in my sauce. But for right now, the last thing I'm going to add in is my parsley. What I should have done is I should have shown you all of this before I put it in. I'm so sorry. The main thing is that you're getting the recipe, and I'm adding in my fresh parsley. I'm adding in. So what I was saying is that they really don't like um, a lot of, the mom doesn't like a lot of like tomatoes, big chunky tomatoes. When I use vegetarian, I usually cook chunky tomatoes and green peppers and make it really chunky so it's like meat. And I use portobello mushrooms and all of that. And I'm not really a big fan of mushrooms, but guess what? I forgot I have some mushrooms. I'm gonna put in there just a little bit because they say they're not big fans but actually I've cooked a little bit beforehand see what they liked that mushroom's in it they love it <laughs> I'm just adding a little bit of mushroom right there right there put that in there some fresh mushrooms all right now I'm going to let that cook down. Let that cook down a little bit. Get that, how's that looking? Looking good? Let me turn my water back on. I can go ahead and get started on my pasta so I don't have to wait for that. Because after this, it's going to be just basically my meat. And then I usually cook it all and I simmer it. Like usually I cook it all day for like five hours, five or six hours down on simmer. And I could just continue to stir it. And 
get some good stuff out of there and just let all the flavors kind of meld together. So here, you gotta have a, it's a little thick. And so I'm gonna add some water to that and thin, thin it out a little bit after it gets, you know, after it melts together a little bit. Get all that flavor in there. This one, that looks pretty good. Cause they're, they like vegetables and they're not as big on, you know, vegetables, they like a lot of meat, so. This one has most, a lot of vegetables in this part. It's a little thick, it looks good though. Okay, so that's my vegetarian. That's my meaty sauce waiting with the vegetables, with the sauteed vegetables in there. And here's my water boiling. Oh, got a little something on there. And now I'm starting to cook my, um, my Italian sausage that is a little spicy. And I'm gonna break this up. Let's get this going. Now, unlike the first dish that I did with the the pasta and the shrimp and all of that, I'm actually going to season these, everything, every dish as I go. So, I'm about to put my pasta on momentarily. And again, remember, if you don't make a mess in the kitchen, I don't know if it's any good. <laughs> so my, the meat and sauce and everything is all over the stove. I'm at a friend's house and she's letting me use her kitchen, uh, which is so sweet, so kind. And um, let me go get the pasta. After this, this is the seasoned meat. Then I have turkey. Uh, I mean, not turkey. I do make turkey spaghetti as well. Um, the ground beef, this is the seasoned ground beef. And then I have sweet sausages, Italian sausages that I'm gonna add. If you've ever been in my house, you must understand, I come from a big family of eight. And when my dad remarried, we had three extra people. Miss Brenda, my stepsister, Kimberly, was beautiful, and my wonderful stepbrother, William. So our family has expanded. And growing up in a big family, I love to cook to where when you leave, you have to take a to-go box. I'm good for having to-go boxes. <laughs> I believe in that. You have to have enough for people to take home. It's wonderful. You know, after this, and I put my sausage in. I'm not even going to. I'm not even sure if this pan is going to be big enough for me to add any more meat in there. But we'll see. Let's see how we're doing on this meat. You want to make sure the main thing is you want to make sure that it is thoroughly done. And I'm making a mess. I know a big piece of meat just fell on the floor, but it will be all right. I have plenty of meat left. Okay, let's bring this up. Get this boiling again. My pasta. Let's get that boiling again. 
Normally, I would add a little red pepper. Sometimes when I cook for adults only, I'll add a little bit of red wine or sherry into my sauce. But since I'm cooking for children between the ages of 20 and the youngest one is nine, I think. I am no sherry or red wine for them, not in the food at least. Maybe the mother I have some. Oh, and I, I am going to I have this wonderful individual who got in touch with me on Facebook, a friend of mine. Uh, Candy is a very dear friend, friend of mine. And she has a friend who has her own line of wine. And you can even get the bottles with it um, labeled. I'm so sorry, I can't think of her name right now, but I'll put it up uh, when I edit it. You'll see it shortly down there. I look forward to having and cooking a meal with her, with some of her wine. I'll probably drink it though. <laughs> But as you can see, with all of this going on, I really, I'm, I'm not going to serve it till tomorrow. Let me just say that. I've already figured that out. And because I really want it to blend together. So I'm going to put everything together tonight. And then um, when it cools off, I'm going to simmer it for about two, three hours. Stirring it. Oh, you haven't tasted anything till you had my turkey with my homemade gravy. I cook that all night. And when I say all night, I mean all night. I get it hot, kill all the bacteria, and then I put it on simmer um, about 250, 275, and I baste it every 15 minutes for an entire night. And <laughs> what is that about? That's about, I've never had to really carve a turkey. It is so tender and moist that when it's done the next day, I just take the bone, the breastbone, I pull it, and all the meat falls off. So all the dark meat is there, all the uh, white meat is there. Wonderful. I'm going to get another spoon. I mean, for it. Oh, that's good. That's good. Mm. That's good. I don't need to add anything more to that. We got our meat here, we got our sauce here, and we got our other sauce here, vegetarian, and then we got our pasta here. Okay, we got that. My sausage is done and it's caramelized. You're gonna see the seasoning in this pan that's caramelized, which means the seasoning is there. It's fabulous. It tastes delicious. And I'm gonna take all of that and I'm gonna put it in the sauce, which I have, I'm gonna put it in another bigger pan. So I've had to go to bigger pans and um, I've already taken out one thing of pasta. I'm about to start another one, uh, but I'm gonna show you a video of this, okay? All right, hold on. Look at that. Oh, that's nothing but seasoning. That's not burned. That's not burned meat. That's seasoning. Oh, that's caramelized. So I'm going to cut that up and put it in the pan here. Back here. I add a little bit of oregano, basil, some, some Italian seasoning. Here's the vegetarian. And then I got another water on for my next box of pasta. Okay, let me cut this up and I'm going to switch this pan over to a bigger pan. Okay. And then, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let my sausage cook down. 
Once the sausage is cooked down, what I'm going to do is cook it on both sides all the way through and then I'm going to cut it up and put it. Now, the boys like their, 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 their spaghetti meaty. So I'm not going to dice it up into small pieces, but I'm going to cut it up into chunks and then put it in the sauce. And then we'll see how we're doing if I need anything else. I don't think I do. Just more pasta. And then I'm going to show you the special bread that I'm going to make that you'll probably love to make it yourself. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. All right. That's what you have there. I'm going to drain the meat here. And then I'm going to put it in meat sauce and then I'm going to cover it and I'm done with that. I'm done with the vegetarian. That's simmering now. I'll be done with the pasta soon. I'll put it in a pan and then I'll, I'm also um, I'm rinsing that off as well. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to make the bread for the boys. And uh, it should be good. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. So here is the meat sauce. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Ah! It looks wonderful, 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 wonderful. Okay. Hey, I'm back. So, this is what I'm about to show you now. So I couldn't find a cookie sheet. No one's here to ask, for me to ask, like, where is the cookie sheet, if they have one. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm a camper, and I rough it. So I'm gonna make do with what we have. So I'm gonna double layer the aluminum foil and I'm gonna put my bread on there, but I'm gonna show you something special. I'm just gonna let you watch. And then I'm going to put it in the oven for about 10 minutes. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of mozzarella on a couple of slices maybe, uh, because I know one of the one of the kids likes mozzarella. Um, and, um, but just to kind of show you a variation. Okay, so um, I'm about to do that now for the bread. Everything else, the pasta is about done. The um, the, the spaghetti and everything is uh, ready to go. Um, I'm gonna fix the plate and show you what it looks like though at the end. And I'm gonna tell you the name. I came up with the name for this one. Uh, so I'll see you in a minute, okay. I'm taking these soaked chili peppers and I'm going to just spread them out over the cookie sheet. Oh, that means my oven is ready. I'm going to take this and I'm going to spread it out over there. Okay, now I'm just going to put I'm putting the bread over top of that, see? So I'm putting the bread over top of that with the peppers there, okay? And then I'm just gonna seal it up and put it in the oven. And then I'm gonna open it up and then see what we have. This, here, yeah. this wonderful bread uh, with on the hot peppers, red peppers, is going in. Uh. <sighs> Ten minutes, and it's done, and we're done. All right, with, season with love. <laughs> it's a lot of labor sometimes, but a labor of love, a labor of love. I'll see you in a minute, okay. With, look at this. With, oh, it's falling apart so it's done. <laughs> With the soaked red peppers, dried peppers that were soaked um, underneath, it's just gonna give a hint of a little bit of kick to it. Um, and 
um, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Oh, is that delicious? It looks delicious. I watch my carbs, so I'm not going to have any. But, let me see. Can I show you a better? That's fabulous, so everything is done. So this is what it looks like after it's done. You see where the cheese is? You could put another one on there. I have another whole loaf for tomorrow, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them cook that one. And then here is the final piece. Oh, isn't that what lovely? Now if you look under here, that's where you see a little bit of the pepper that's left. But it's really there and it's really really gonna be good okay so spaghetti for seven little men <laughs> i like that um so um whew, i'm done so now i'm gonna fix a plate ah to show you how beautiful it is and um i'll take it over i'm gonna simmer it tonight so i'll be up for the next couple hours uh nurturing it taking care of it um, very gently and uh, then getting it ready to deliver tomorrow and I hope they're hungry uh, I look forward to calling her uh, maybe I'll record the telephone conversation and let her know it's done but I, as I said I like to have spaghetti uh, the next day um, because it just put, puts everything together and tastes so good the next day it tastes good now too but the next day is really awesome so um, so I'm done with the bread and, and because it had a little bit of steaming underneath or whatever, the oven is off, but I'm going to put it, I put it, the bread on another piece of aluminum foil and then I'm going to put it in the oven just to dry up the bottom. Um, but when I lifted it up, the, the cheese was melting actually through it. So I had sliced it prior so that I could get all of that coming through, all of the, the um, chili, uh, chili pepper to come through and and then I had the cheese as you saw on top and then that cheese melted all the way through in the slits that I did only on one side though. Okay. Ah, fabulous. Uh, so tomorrow it is seasoned with love. And spaghetti <laughs> for boys, for seven little men. Spaghetti for seven little men. I'm in the car driving, heading over to the house to serve spaghetti for seven young men. We know, we know, season with love is here. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. 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 Bless the hands that prepared and made this meal for us today as we come together and enjoy this meal. Amen. 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 Yeah, let's get in prayer. Say prayers. All right. Christian, what's up, Tom? Give me some love, man. I like you. Christian, what's up? How are you? Good. How is his outside birthday time yesterday? Whose birthday? Christian's birthday was yesterday. What? Happy birthday, Christian. Chanel, mama of the yes. family. So what is it like having seven boys? Did you expect seven boys? No, I didn't expect <laughs> or ask for seven. I only asked for three. <laughs> but I got seven. All right, all right. And um, it has been very fun okay. having my boys. It's very uh as I say, let me see what word could I use for they round bunch business. <laughs> boys. <being> boys. <laughs> but Lively overall, and energetic. <laughs> I think as a mother, I got them as well as I could to be good guys, good men when they grow and, you know, have their own family and know what family is. That's praise God. They are nice. They're so polite, have great manners. I can tell you that. And, and the last question is, um, so you've done a great job with them. They're so sweet. And my other question is, you work in the healthcare business. Yes, I do. Rehabilitation. And so how has the pandemic and everything, because you have to work yeah. those crazy hours. Yeah, I work evening, so I, I have a pretty much set schedule. But, um, yeah, I do 12 hours at the rehabilitation downtown, which is known as Shirley Ryan Ability Lab. Formerly known as um, RIC, um, but they do a lot of good work there and a lot of research for future, you know, devices pertaining to uh, health care and people having lives outside of their disabilities. So, you know, I can imagine with your shift and everything, and especially with the pandemic, how are you able to, you know, there's... Yeah, they go to school, you gotta have meals, you gotta sleep. How do you do all of that? Well, I and, don't have little babies anymore. Uh, uh, my sons are all teenagers. I don't have any little ones anymore. But I mean they I have made my son self sufficient. Um, knowing that they're gonna be dads one day and they need to teach theirs how to cook and let them be sufficient when it's time for them to be sufficient. And that is so awesome. <laughs> that's what we need more of, right? <laughs> well, that's awesome. Well, it's been a pleasure um, making this meal for you, for you guys because uh -huh. I said maybe it's something that can spread all week or a couple of days. I know boys oh, can eat yeah. a lot. I have, I have four brothers, five brothers, and they can eat. Yeah, this weekend be gone for mom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's a little different. <laughs> but you know what? It is It is a pleasure. And thank you. You're our second um, second set of winners. Uh, we had one in Arizona. And I look forward to the next one. So thank you for allowing us to come over oh, and have some meals seasoned with love. <laughs> God bless you and your family. God bless you and yours. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> So, Jaden, Jaden, mm -hmm. how old are you? Thirteen. Thirteen. And how was it? Oh, you finished it already. I was going to ask you who it is. Was it good? Did you get any bread? Got it bread? No, I didn't know. Okay. And you're in school. What grade are you in? Oh, eighth. Eighth grade. Have you decided what you want to be? No. Or what you want to do in the future? Just kind of live life day by day? Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, mm -hmm. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Help yourself to some more. There's plenty. Let's get to see. I'll get all of that. Mm -hmm. All right. And yeah. Gabe? How about you, man? Have you decided on what you want to do, what you want to be? I know you're already working. I understand you have jobs all around the neighborhood, so you're already an entrepreneur. You're already an entrepreneur doing some things. Is that right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah? And so what are you thinking about? Cooking. Cooking. Oh, yes, I found out that you cooked. I wish I would have known that earlier you could have cooked with me. I look forward to having a season with love with you. You're such a great helper, too. Thank you so much for your help today. I appreciate that.
This big man, this big man, this is the oldest, Josh. Josh, how old are you? 20. 20. And how old are you, Gabe? 15. 15. 15 and 20. All right. And Josh, you already doing your things. You already have a job. Gabe has a job. Christian has a job that's not here. So how about you, Josh? What are you thinking or wishing for the world? And Nino said it's such a beautiful prayer, but what are you thinking about? You know, you had some spaghetti earlier. Did you like it? Mm -hmm. All right, great. And what are you thinking about the future? What do you want to do? I'm going to be a millionaire in two years. Okay, a millionaire in two years. You got a plan for that? It's in the process. It's in the process? Yeah. All right, cool. Going to take care of mama? Mm -hmm. All right, praise God. That's awesome. Good. Thank you. It's Nino. Nino, what a beautiful prayer. Grace, thank you. I'm sorry. I'm interrupting while you're eating. Is good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And I know you have some dreams. You want to tell real quickly what you dreaming about there for the future but I thought you're great your prayer was so beautiful you just want people to have a beautiful life that's wonderful how about anything else for yourself I want to be a great cook and a basketball player okay awesome awesome you're a little shy you don't want to look at that <laughs> all right great thanks and they what's your real name they call you stink <laughs> uh, my real name is Christopher, but Sting was like a name. Like oh, okay. Years, 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 So there we go. Ah, let me see, it's a little foggy. Ah. All right, so there we go. Uh, see with the love, episode two, countdown. Episode three coming up. <laughs> she says it's gonna be gone by tomorrow. I believe it, I think they're already eating on it. It's awesome. So on to the next episode. All right, oh, it was great, it was great. That's all I can say. God bless the children, right? All right, you take great care. And make sure, I hope, that your next appetite your next meal is seasoned with love. Take care.